Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2017 MacBook Pro base model 13 inch uh, performance and benchmark scores. So let's just get right into it. Um, taking a look at Geekbench for CPU benchmark. Uh, this year's MacBook got a 4,422 single core and a 9,525 on the multi-core. Now the single core that is 13% better than last year's 13 inch and 19% faster on the multi-core. Uh, and taking a look at last year's 15 inch and this year's 13 inch, the single core is pretty close. Um, they're almost on par with each other. And the multi-core though on the 15 inch just blows away 13 inch, obviously because you got the two extra cores in the i7. But I was surprised to see how close the single cores were. Uh, moving over to OpenCL Geekbench 4, the 2017 got a 29,343, while the 2016 had a 27,596. So that is a 6% increase in performance um, over the Iris 540 and the 640. And moving over to Blackmagic speed test, uh, I think my results on this were a little bit inconclusive because the 2016 had a 1,275 read and a 1,929 write. While for my read, I had 796 and a 2,195 write. So my write speed is 12% faster than last year's write speed. But my read speed is 62% slower. That doesn't make sense to me. I ran the test multiple times made sure my programs were closed and I don't know how I was consistently getting a lower read score. Um, so I'm just ruling that the read speed on this is inconclusive unless as the future comes around and more people are posting theirs and they also have a lower read speed then I'll be pretty surprised at that. Um, but Apple claimed at WWDC that their SSDs were up to 80% faster um, but right now I'm just seeing 12% so maybe on the iMac, iMac Pro it'll be a little bit faster but that's what I have on this right here now moving over to a little uh, render test on iMovie I did a two minute render uh, it was a video in 4k shot at 30 FPS um, and there was music in there so with the music in the video it was two minutes long and my brightness on the computer when I started to render was at 75% and my backlit keys were also lit at 75% brightness. Um, I had 100% battery and it took the MacBook five minutes and 10 seconds to render the two minute video um, and I lost 0% battery. Um, that's, that's okay. Um, as the day, as the morning went on, uh, my battery was going down more and more. Um, it's been four hours now and I'm at 35%, um, but I've been using Photoshop in there too a little bit. Um, so the battery isn't terrible, but um, it's, I would say it's decent. It's gonna get you through your day as long as you're not you know, doing all these crazy uh, intensive things on it. But um, that pretty much concludes this video. Uh, I will be posting gaming benchmarks and my review uh, shortly, upcoming days. Um, if you guys have any games you want to test, if you're considering getting this new MacBook, be sure to drop a comment with it down below. I've already got a few games lined up. I might have to divide it into a couple videos, um, but be sure to drop it. I do read all your comments, and they're much appreciated with the feedback you guys give me. Um, so be sure to subscribe if you want to catch these upcoming videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.